And while Shane Soy's Wapi for South Africa is the top try scorer in Canada with 33. It is Lok Pumas, sevens on the right, kicking off with Tobias Wade to South Africa in green with MP Fissa. And it goes directly out, first possession for the Blitzbox. Yeah, not the way Argentina wanted to start. Definitely seeking to get that restart back. That's the voice of World Rugby Hall of Famer and Eagle well, legend Phaedra Knight. I'm Dallas Stanford. Welcome. Oh, we're going to be tuning in from around uh, the globe. Yeah. Brilliant heavy company here. That's as it stands. Argentina, South Africa, the two top sides. Points difference may come into play. <laughs> we see how things go. And Sheikh Soy's Wapi floats one over the top to Ryan Boy stays and that cuts back in. The South African forward looking for work. Quick ball for Krobala. Van Weyck throws a dummy. Shilton van Weyck's hot feet has been stopped. So Zane Davids goes to the left to his captain. So is Wapi. Duarte is there. Small frame, but a powerful runner. Ricardo Duarte almost slips free. Quick possession for the SA7 side. Football skills there from Krobala. Takes them on. Penalty for... For Stazen and South Africa. And that's just South Africa just relying on their structure. When they set up and they pass that ball with poise and patience, they're successful and they're just working their way slowly into deep Argentinian territory. You can see on the series how they locked it 86 points each, second and third Argentina, South Africa. The form sides who are looking for automatic Gosh. qualification for the Olympic Games in France. Five. What a moment that will be for those countries that Six. can lock that in. Still a long way to go in the series. Duarte. No, 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 time off. Time off, no. He needs to release it first, okay? He needs to release it first, close. We need to keep our foot down. Sides will head to Hong Kong, Singapore next to the Asian Tour, and then to lose in London. Four stops after this one. Come on. Important series points on the line, but important to make the Cup quarterfinals. South Africa. Six. Set piece. Score a lot of their tries from that. And of course, a tap penalty. They find Shilton Van Beek. Van Beek bounces on the outside. So what he can't handle. Fracker is there for Argentina. And Santiago Gomez Cora's side will take possession. Yeah, that pass a little too abrasive for the captain to absorb. Yes. You see, yeah. okay, I'll have a look. Yes. just bounces off the fingers yeah, forward, yeah, and he's regretting that, boy. Yeah, yeah. Square. Square. I was able to catch up with oh. Santi Gomez Cora earlier this week, and he said Five. his side on. Yeah, yeah. Six. have learned to gel over the last couple oh. of years, and handle the pressure they've worked on that tremendously they loop around now Pelandini across field to Asatsuk he's a strong powerful runner is Matias Asatsuk been in the frame for a long time Tobias Wade to the left they work Herman Schultz is there strong forward he says see you later MP Fissa Wade to the right hand side Las Pumas steps as Fracha gets hit hard to the ground able to flick it up here comes Osatsuk yet again, looking for space. It's a one-handed offload. Wade is in to collect. Schiltz now. A good passage here for Los Puma Sevens. Rodrigo Itko shows us the soccer skills before he's upended by Zane Davids. The big bruising forwards go out at head-to-head. -head. Argentina step with Pelanini, throws a dummy. Still they retain. Wade to the right. Again, it's Schiltz. South Africa come up though on defense and that's a strong passage of play there for Sandile Ngobo and Philip Sneijman side yeah South Africa just patient that bend don't break defense Argentina was doing a really good job of recycling the ball and inching their way down the field but one crucial era and we're back <laughs> into the territory of Argentina all important task for South Africa to win this one. That's Impey Fisser, known as Knife Hands, just his running style. His teammates say, out of the University of Pretoria. Now sporting that new look on the series. Ricardo Duarte for the Blitz Box. 0 0 still. Worst Eisen with the take. Krobala in midfield. 
can play in the forwards and the backs. He's got a great acceleration, but Osatsuk has him. South Africa have played Argentina three times here in Canada, one all three. But a much different prospect here with this hot Los Pumas side. Good ball to Sheikh Soy's Wapi. That releases Christy Krobola on the outside. Krobola trying to stretch past Osatsuk, finds his captain. What a ball on the inside. The flag is up, though. Shakes did all he could. Yeah, so this is Wapi floated a little too close to that touchline. You line up Good on the effort. Line. I mean, the pass <laughs> over the head was accurate, Come but off. just Stop. a little too close. And Argentina doing a good job of really pressuring that attack. Great tackle. Well, both sides averaging 86% yeah, tackle completion rate. An important stat to stay in the hunt here. <coughs> Under two to go in the first half. Mine is off. To decide Pool B. He'll cross over with Great Britain and Fiji. Perfect, thank you. And Come on. Marcus Moneta has taken the field for Argentina. Now's a good time to keep watching. Lost former sevens. Almost pinched there from Fisser. Did he knock it on? No, it's play on for South Africa. Van Veit goes. The ball over the top. For the wing three quarter, Shake Saw's wife, he gets the fender Moneta. That's the race you've got to see. Power play from the two wingers. Zane Davids. Oh, that's a awkward looking pass and won't be happy with that, Will Davids. Yeah, it's a rare mistake made by Listen, yeah. Davids. Oh, have a look, but I don't think so. Turned his, I don't think so. his hips really too far. <laughs> Unforced error. David's one of three nominees for South Africa Sevens Player of the Year with JC Paturis and Selvin Davids. Another year. Los Pumas with possession. Ithgro to the right. Hard hit here from South Africa. And Globu comes in the ball. Still there for Ithgro. HSBC Dream Team. And a couple of events. Or stays and attacks it. Burrows in. There's the engineer for South Africa. Here's Van Veit now. Puts the kick in. Half impeded with sliding to the ground to Marcelo Salde, the 22-year-old on the field for Argentina. What a tight battle we've seen here at BC Place. Luciano Gonzalez, legs of steel, gets through a couple. Scored his 100th try in LA last week and fires it in. Argentina, can they break the South African defense? Eat go now. Here's Marcus Moneta, ball on the outside, great stuff. And a Salde against Davids, cuts in. And Asalde chipped himself to the ground. Oh no! Ball is there. South Africa pounce on it. Van Bake is there. With Shake saw his wife. He looks up to see how many South African players are there. And Fundon Lobu kicks it to the side. It is <coughs> one of the tightest games we've seen this weekend. Half time. South Africa lost Puma. Sevens tied. 0 0. 21, but it's 0 0 against Argentina. Argentina with two wins, South Africa a draw and a victory, which is why points difference might come into play. France, the other side, looking from the outside in. Ricardo Duarte kicking off from right to left at BC Place. Matias Osatso has possession for the South American side. It's almost loose there as Davids comes flying up. Penalty. Goes your the way of Argentina. Off your feet. Yeah, that's the first penalty conceded by South Africa in this match. Been nicely disciplined so far. So as it stands, if it is a tie, that's what will happen. Argentina and South Africa will go through. France will lose out. But of course, France will be hoping. Green, take the line. You're on the line. Thank you. That points difference will be in their favor between South Africa. Possession now for Joaquin Pellandini. Oh, step off. Yep, thank you. Argentina, who was brilliant last week. Silver medalist lost out to New Zealand. They won gold in Hamilton. They've been the form side in recent times. South Africa going through a couple of changes in their squad and some injuries also. And players going to 15 yes, aside. On the first one's on the lineup. First error against Argentina. We mentioned all the South African players that have gone through to 15s. Those include Angela Davids, Miller Duplessis, Kirtley Ardenser, 
course, the players gone by like Van Lecoq and Sibela Sinatra right now. That's what Sevens is about, too, is getting the players sort of the 15 side, too, Pedro. Yeah, it's good to have that diversity in your skill set. Uh, when players go play 15s, they come back. Maybe they bring a bit more physicality than they did before. But it's great to have dimension. Sit. So that again, they're half. Ricardo Duarte comes short side. Shelton van Beek outstretches one, lays it down. And Argentina attack the breakdown. It's where they are so good. Schultz, a low ball to take. Itko with David's on his back. Pellandini goes to the left hand side. A bounce ball for a Satsuk that jumps off his right and then his left as well. Big hit there from Sawizwapi. Still 0 0. As they look to crack through their forwards. Itko no way through. Maneta links well. Santiago Alvarez, can he spark something for his side? Fissa has him. Tomás de la Salde in support. Over there. And Argentina will take more possession here and momentum as well. Quinty side. Yeah, they just slow it down. Brilliant move on their part. They've got some strength in this set piece. Gives them an opportunity to build that structure and just move the ball as slowly as they need to. Well, I spoke to Santi Gomez Cora. I mentioned I had coffee with him this week. He was talking about the discipline of his side. And he didn't, you know, players arriving late for training. He didn't want to he didn't want to tell them himself. So he said, listen, there's gonna be a fine system in place. You'll put money into the manager's kitty. And apparently in the first few years they could buy drones, iPads. Not a single player has been late in the last two years. And it has helped their success on the field as well. The legend coaching the side, Santi Gomez Cora now. His side cut loose, and Asalde blows free. Tomas and Asalde, perfect pass over the top to Manny Marcus Monetas in the corner. Luck for the sevens, finally strike. And Manny Moneta in. He's been brilliant the last couple of stops of the series. It was that cross field run there. Ah. He's running across the field. He saw that he had a mismatch on the outside in Mineta, and he just put it brilliantly into his hands. The Olympian on the outside. His great grandfather won a bronze medal for cycling at the Olympic Games, and he's on his bike in the corner there. Mineta is the difference so far in this game. The try scoring machine had his 75th in 87 matches. An unbelievable strike rate for this young player, 22 years of age. Already the World 7 Series Player of the Year as well in recent times. 5 nothing. under three to go. Argentina looking strong to top the pool. Bounce back. And it is in the hands of Marcus Monetta yet again. Moneta making plays fall Bunch. over, and then he loses it. Shots those Wapi now for the South over. Africa. The blitz box. A good carry from the winger. Fissa wants to move to left, but they've left their feet at the breakdown. What a stroke of bad luck for South Africa. Had some momentum Never in the, the, in the captain out. there. Leading try score Stop. on yesterday. So we scrum up when we call time back on. You're just making stuff. Yeah, scrum lads when we call time back on. So there, as it stands now, you see Argentina, South Africa still going through. It's the points difference that's vital. France won't be able to make it in the end. They tried their hardest by beating Japan 46 points to 5. BC Place, a sellout with all these brilliant competitors on the field. The women's and the men's combined event here. It's a three day tournament. Sit. More tiring on the bodies. The HSBC oh, ambassador is here too. It's Brian Abana. We'll chat to him a bit later. The South African no, watching on his side. Listen, listen. Listen. Okay. All came out the same tunnel first, so we'll reset. Okay? Yeah, lost yeah, all my sevens. Right. Coached by that man in picture, Santiago Gomez Cora. A legend over the years. The all time leading try scorer in World Sims history at one point in time. The first play to 200. Five. Such an animation. Sit. Been coaching in the Los Pumas program for the last decade. Osatsuk has a switch in midfield. Schultz get hit by Fissa. The ball's still there. Alvarez able to link up nicely. 
Graziano finds Marcus Moneta. Moneta cuts in, loops with some poor runners. Alvarez now for Argentina. Schultz goes back in field. Nice floating ball over the top. A substitute yet again. Lars Puma, seventh, putting down the hammer. And the ball is still there. They score beautiful drives to Argentina. Herman Schultz with a vital strike here for Lars Puma, sevens. And that offload game is ridiculous. They kept that ball active, continuously keeping South Africa on the back foot, scrambling in defense, confused. Look at that nice soft pass over the hands of the defensive line. And uh, Argentina just doing it so nicely. They found their flow. Offload here, offload there. Into the man's hand in space. Schultz. What a way to close it out. Argentina, too powerful in the second half. It was tied at 0-0. And Hermann Schultz, Argentina's fifth all-time top try scorer, has his team on the board yet again. 12 points to nothing. As the colorful outfits saw them walking to the stadium this morning. People that don't know rugby here in Canada were looking around and what is happening. So many brilliant costumes and outfits. But the action on the field in this game belongs to Argentina. 12 zip, they can, can't put this out because it's a penalty to South Africa. Quick tap, Duarte puts the kick through. Chases here from Goshen Weir. The debutante flies up after it, it's been hacked out. Lost former sevens will be the number one team in this pool. And they defeat South Africa in a very tight battle by 12 points to nothing.